took yesterday to the lake, which is about 30 miles from here, and you know, backed her down the boat ramp. Everything was good. Slid her out in the water. Everything was perfect. She floated good. I mean, couldn't complain a bit. Wasn't top heavy at all, like I was worried about. Got home last night and I got a habit of, you know, going around touching hubs on everything, making sure everything's cooled off because I know I got a long trip to make with this thing or a lot of miles we're going to put on this trailer. Touch that front hub on this side, whoo, she was on fire. I said, boy, howdy. Same thing on the back. I said, well, since it's an old travel trailer frame, possibly those brake shoes inside that drum had come apart, separated. Somehow got bound up in there because I don't have trailer brakes on it at all on the trailer you know I don't have them hooked up anyway on the front oh, hub that was the case on the back one I guess last time we backed it in the old oh, lake you know water had leaked through that little old hub that cap goes on the front of that hub and that bearing was actually rusted to the race and when, when it turned it just you you could you could hear it rough you know it's like grinding so uh, I knew that bearing was bad and I said well if that one's bad I said that's what change all four of them because, uh, you know, I don't have to worry about that. So what I did is last night I went ahead and took that hub off and uh, bumped the race and the seal and the bearings and all out, cleaned them up real good, put them in the truck. This morning I got up and went and got uh, four brand new everything. I got high temp grease, the best grease you could get. And uh, I'm fixing to put it back together and that way I ain't got to worry about it. We'll get another 100,000 miles out of it, you know. But, uh, what I need to do is I got I'm gonna show y'all how to how I do it anyway how I pack bearings and bump these races out of these hubs and stuff like that and uh, that way if you're ever on the side of the road and you haven't done it before you'll you'll know what to do you know you'll you'll know how to do it and uh, it's it's really simple but uh, I'm not gonna go back with the brakes oh I'm just gonna discontinue those completely. And uh, I do have jack stands under the axles in case y'all are worried about that jack kicking out. So we got plenty of support there in case something did happen to the jack. But uh, anyway, I'm fixing to get started. I want to want to show y'all how to bump these races out. And let me go ahead and tell you now, this is a nasty job. And when you go back with it, you want it clean enough you can eat off of it. You want it very clean. You don't want to mix any sand in with this procedure right here. Anyway, let's get uh, let's get started on it. I'm gonna move the camera and set it up where y'all can see me bumping. You know how I get the race out of the. Uh, I'll show you how to get the race out of the hub. Anyway, let's get started on it. All right, we're just gonna start start all over. I just went ahead and put it back together, and then that way I can start. Uh, you know, at the beginning. All right. First thing you gonna do is jack it up, sure it up where it ain't gonna fall on you. You know, you got to be careful with that. Second thing, that right there is going to be drove into this hub. You take a screwdriver and a, and a hammer, you may need a, a hammer just to bump it down in between that hub and that shoulder to pop that cap off. All right. Put it in your little bucket of gas, you know, because, you know, you need to keep every bit of this clean. If you don't have gas, you could use uh, rags or starter fluid or whatever, just something you know, to, to keep it, you know, to clean this stuff up to go back new with. Anyway, uh, you're going to have a carter key that goes through the axle through one of the slots on this nut right here. And all that does is keeps that nut from backing out. That's all that's for. So you're going to straighten the legs on the carter key, pull it out with a pair of pliers. Keep this, okay? Put that in your bucket, all right? This bolt, I mean, this nut won't be tight. It shouldn't be tight. If it does, you can take a hammer and a, and a screwdriver and just bump it, and it'll turn, you see, because it's got those notches in it. And when you're going back with this, make sure you don't get this tight. Let me go back. Let me start over. Look. Okay? You don't want it, you don't want it to sit there and, and squeeze on this thing and get it super tight because it will burn the bearings up. You just want to get it snug. You don't want to feel slack. You don't want to feel slack in the hub where, the, you know, you got slack in between the bearing and the race. You just want it tight enough that it's, uh, you know, it's it's snug. See what I'm saying? See, if it was loose, you don't want that, okay? You don't want it wrench tight neither because, like I said, it'll be too tight. It's, it'll heat up and it'll burn the bearings up. Anyway, so you take this off. Big old nut, put it in your bucket. That's 
I don't have a washer. You see that washer right there? It's got the, you know, the moon shape because the axle shaped like that. That'll keep. That just keeps it from spinning on the axle. All that is is a washer. Put it in your bucket. All right. There's your outer bearing right there. Now, if in most cases, if you're taking this thing apart, you're probably going to be replacing them. So keep it though because you're gonna have to get the numbers off of it to get new ones put it in your bucket all right pull it off all right you see the back side right here what you got that's gonna be your seal that's a little old rubber thing it's got a rubber oh, seal right there that keeps it keeps dust and stuff from coming in from the back side all right this is another bearing right there that's your that's your inner bearing all right, it's in a race too. I'm fixing to show y'all how to get this seal out and the race. Okay, let's move over here to this let's go spot over here and we'll start bumping this thing out. All right, first thing, I don't know if y'all can see down in there, but I'm, what I'm going to do is get the, probably be getting the seal out. Get that seal out and that bearing and race all at the same time. Now you got a waylay on this pretty good, so what you'll do, okay, here's one that I've already taken it out of. Anyway, the race is gonna ride up against that shoulder. This is gonna be the inner bearing. Okay, that race is gonna ride up against that shoulder. Well, it sticks out just enough that you can get a punch on the other side and bump it from from this side out. Now you've got a waylay on it pretty good sometimes. What you wanna do is stick that down in there till you feel it. All right, you hit it on that side. Hit it on that side. You don't wanna sit there and beat it all off one side. Now look here, let's see. All right, hold on. All right, there's your bearing. There's your seal. You wanna keep that too because it's gonna have numbers on it to take to the parts house. This is, if you're on the side of the road, people, let me tell you something. This right here can be such a pain. So, make sure, now look. All right, there's the race. You see it? See how it goes in? All right, now look. See how that fits that race? And it just rides in there just like that. All right, you're going to need that for the parts house. Now, that one's going to be bigger than this one. See, that the outer race is actually smaller. Same thing, you're going to flip it over, and you see that shoulder right there. It's going to ride. It goes all the way up against that shoulder. Well, you flip it over, and you can bump it out from the back side. Just... Just that easy. All right. There's that race right there. And then I threw the bearing in the gas a while ago. Y'all saw that. Anyway, that's how that's how you, uh, you get them out. Now, I'm going to clean these up real good, and then I'll show you how to put them back in. All right, let's see if we can get, uh, get this one back in there. I've got this, I've got this hub cleaned up. And I got a kit. See the kit right there? That's what it come in. It, it give you a Carter key and all. Anyway, I've left the bearing in there because I didn't want to get any sand on it. And I got the race right here, but I've got a bearing out of a uh, out of the old, you know, the old bearing. If you have something that would fit. You know, or you could take the old one, that old race, and possibly put that on, put that bearing. Don't do this with the new one now. Because it's not going to work. Just bump it back in there. Get it, keep it straight now. If you get it crooked, if you get it in there jacked up, it's going to warp and it's going to cut. 
You want to keep it straight. Now once you get it started, you can take your, uh, you want the bevel like that because the bearing's going to ride. See the bevel? You want the bevel facing like that. Now you take that right there. Don't get crazy. You don't want to get crazy with this. You don't want to beat the, beat it to death. You want to go all the way until it bottoms out on that shoulder inside. Make sure you go all the way. Yeah, it took a little piece of that chisel. I mean, that punch there. You got to make sure you got no trash, no steel. You just want to just bump it in there real easy. All right, then you'll see what I'm talking about, how it's gonna ride. See how it rides? Ain't that cool? Not too bad, huh? Now we'll pack this bearing. Let me get the other side in there and then we'll pack that bearing. I'll show you how to pack that bearing really good. Cause you gotta work that grease into it. I'm gonna get some rubber gloves though cause it's a mess. It makes a heck of a mess. Anyway, coming on along. May help y'all out on the side of the road one day. All right, now all I've done now is I've got this back race started same way. Just barely. You don't want to get crazy with it. You don't want to beat the crap out of it. Scar it up, bend it up, and break it. Right, Hannah? Yep. Same thing. Bump it till it hits the shoulder. And if you go in crooked, you're going to cut your way down through there and it's just going to, it's not going to work. So you want to, you want to go like I'm going, just all the way around, just keep on bumping. She's all the way. All right. Now see that? Bad boy right there is going to ride right there. Yep. And you're going to put the seal, you're going to do the seal the same way. Now this is after you pack that bearing. You're going to have to, you're going to have to pack this bearing first. Put it in there, okay? Then you're going to bump that seal in there behind it like that. Because you can't pack that bearing in behind that seal. You got to pack it before you put it in there. Make sure you do that. All right. Let's pack this bearing real quick. Let me put on some rubber gloves. Ready? All right, I got some good high temp grease right here. Go ahead and get the good stuff. You want to pack that bad boy. Hannah, you've done this before, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Have, didn't, you, didn't you do that before? Yeah. Get all nasty. Yeah, I got gloves on this time, though. Yeah. Slip and fall after that. Yeah. Can't remember what we were doing at all, though. What you want to do, though, is you want to make sure it's in that. Just pack that thing full. If you just stick these bearings in there like that, they're not going to last. You know, just dry and poke some grease around them. They're not going to last. You've got, you've got to pack them. I mean, just keep on and on. that's doing is just pushing it all the way through that bearing and it's coming out right there that way when them little cylinders start turning she's lubed up what I always do is I put some in here too some people don't and I like I like to I like some grease in there you don't want it too much you want it to be able to breathe you know if it does start getting a little warm you don't want it to liquefy it and start melting your seals out and all that stuff. Put some grease in there, it ain't gonna hurt nothing.
Like I say, this is some messy stuff. That's what I want it to look like right there. And you just take that seal. Oof. I'm gonna hand it to you. Well, just put it right there. Yes. Yeah, just put, just lay it right there. We got some extra. Yeah, we don't want nothing. Yeah, just like that. Yep. All right. And then what we'll do now is take that, take that hammer and just bump that thing in on that side, and you're done. Flip that hub over and put this other one in the other side. We fixed to put it back together. All right, you can turn it off right there, babe. I'm gonna pack this other one real quick. All right, I cleaned the spindle up really good. See that right there? Even where the uh, even where the seal's gonna ride, I cleaned it up really good on this one. I got this one ready to uh, to go back now. Like I said, we want to keep all of the any kind of any kind of sand or anything like that. We don't want nothing like that. We don't want no sand. What I want to do is put a little extra grease in that hole right there before I pop that bearing in there. It's hard to get. In my opinion, it's hard to get too much. Because when you put it on, the, the spindle's actually going to push a lot of it out, you know, if you put a lot in there at one time. Of that. That's what you want. Ain't the prettiest job, but it'll show sure work. Bless you. Thank you. All right, you want to get all that gas off this stuff too, then just pull out of your little thing. All right. We don't want to thin the grease with gas. That nut's going to look dirty but it's just really it's just a little got a little rust on it all right well what i was talking about about not being too tight on this and you do have grease in there so it's gonna You see a pair of pliers over there? I had a pair yesterday. There they are right here. I got them right here. I have grease from one end to the other. I tell you what, them little gloves are nice though. Alright, you're going to take that right there. Pull it on down. You don't want it to touch that hole. You can bend them one out this way, it don't matter. Now, let me get that. Clean this up a little. Some of them will have buddy hubs on them where you can act, you got a grease fitting on the, on the, uh, the little cap. And you can keep those full and that that helps a lot if they're like this one though you got nothing you got you know you don't have a, a fitting you could uh 
could probably, you know, drill a hole and, and uh, thread one in there, though. I'm fixing to get nasty for sure. Put a little bit more right there on that. That way, if water does run in there, it ain't got nowhere to go. It's gonna. And there you go. I see it. Nothing to it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Appreciate y'all. Maybe I can help out on the side of the road one day. You never know.